Hello fellow drifters and welcome to Culture Drift. We bring you raw, authentic experiences and off the beaten path adventures. We are currently in Bali, Indonesia, so join us as we explore this beautiful island. And don't forget to keep on drifting. Today is the day of pierogi, <laughs> and also it's my mom's name's day. She's gonna have to mama Narcisa. And today we went to Sonor because there's a Polish festival of food and, and culture, uh, which means that we can eat pierogi from the local um, shop, uh, pierogi pierogi. Check it out. And also there is some amazing natural cosmetics and some other food uh, available. Uh, we had the presentation uh, from the team here, um, uh, from the ambassador of Poland in Jakarta and some uh, people that live here I think as well, plus the, the Mr. Andrzej who has the shop Pierogi Pierogi is giving to try his amazing dumplings. So there's like four or five choices, check it out, today is the last day. Um, uh, actually, like check it out in Pierogi Pierogi <laughs> restaurant. And uh, it's so nice to see like Indonesian people just trying everything and being so open to different culture. And yeah, a really happy day! Yeah, Poland! <laughs> Hello guys, uh, today we are in Poland, ah, not really, today we are in Sanua uh, at this place called Grand Lucky where they're actually having a Polish festival, so Asha being Polish, uh, it was a must visit obviously. So we're here now, we've already actually had some pierogi but uh, the thing about Sanur itself, uh, we were always actually going to come here because they do have this place called Pierogi Pierogi which is like a Polish um, savory, well it can be sweet, but it's a Polish dumpling basically, it is Pierogi and Pierogi Pierogi the restaurant has a stall in here so we've already had a taste of them, uh, later on I think we're going to go, it's about a kilometer and a half from here where we are, um, yeah so we're gonna head there after this. Yeah, get a bit of Polish culture. I think I should probably be missing it. You know, we've been away for some months now. So, you know, I think for her it's quite nice to kind of get a bit of Polishness back into it. Um, yeah, I think she's actually, so also here, uh, you know, so a bit more about the festival, shall we say. Um, yeah, you know, it's about, uh, I guess, financial, business, you know, culinary, transportation ties between Poland and Indonesia slash Bali. Uh, apparently Bali has the biggest uh, population of Polish people in Indonesia, which does make sense, um, just in general. Uh, and yeah, it's just, that's kind of what it's about. So even in the supermarket here, they do have loads of Polish products like cosmetics, some like foodstuffs and also some chocolate which Asha has just bought actually. So uh, for as a part of the promo, promo for today or for the festival, um, if you buy a product here then you get to spin the wheel so there's like a, a little uh, competition. Yeah, it's like a, a wheel of fortune, if you like. So I think Asha's just bought some chocolate, some bavu. Uh, I've had bavu before in Poland, obviously. Uh, and yeah, it's really nice, creamy, good chocolate. So I am looking forward to eating that. She's bought like a whole like bar. Um, but yeah, I think she's just going to go spin her wheel because she just bought some. So I'll go try and find her, eh? But yeah, this is the place here. Grand Lucky. Sanua, so also in this supermarket, Grand Lucky, there seems to be like loads of all sorts of food stuff. Like basically it's one of the best uh, supermarkets we've been to. So may actually get some stuff here as well. 
but I'm not going to film that. It's more about Poland today. Just if you're interested, you know, if you're looking for anything that is perhaps international, more international, or just in general, like a wide selection, I think it's probably a good supermarket for you. But anyway, back to Poland. <laughs> So I should just uh, spun the wheel. Today on Bridge Me and Food Lanaster, you see this Polish version. <laughs> wow. Okay, guys, uh, we just finished up at Grand Lucky. Yes! Tak! From one Poland to another, we're gonna go to Progi Progi, which is the Polish Progria. Yeah. Progria? Pie Pierogarnia. Pierogaria, I guess. It's a shop with Polish dumplings. But we had a little try here and it's amazing. Kind of an Indonesian version of pierogi. So I love the mixture and yeah, it's great, great event. Well done. Well done, Poland. We're going to keep going, Poland. So Poland to Poland, all right? Cool. See you there. Okay, guys, we are in Poland. Yay! <laughs> Dzień dobry! Ah. Oh, we're actually in Sonora. We're still in Sonora, but we're going to Poland again. To Progi. Progi Progi. Polish. Comfort food. It doesn't actually look like there's anybody in there, but we're hoping that they are. It does say it's open. Uh, uh, and obviously we've just had the um, Progi in the supermarket. So yeah, here it is. Here, look. Bum, bum, bum. Here it is. <laughs> Okay, we're going in. Okay guys, look what we've got. So six pierogies. And then another six pierogies. So these ones are the vegetarian ones. These are the meat ones. And we've got some sour cream. So onions and some like bacon stuffs wow um yeah they all look pretty good presented well they do actually make them out the back in there like a sort of like a press and they've got like the the meat i guess you call it um you know and the pastries and stuff so, so they all make it all out there and then they cook it for you wow amazing like i didn't even realize they would do it on the spot so it's really fresh and i like the way they do it like the little dishes <laughs> so cute kind of like mix of polish and japanese style or like maybe indonesian i don't know so i just wanted to say that uh, this uh, kind of print um Reminds me of Cipelia, uh, uh, which is uh, a shop um, like with traditional Polish uh, uh, folk um, fabrics, and you can buy lots of different souvenirs or like cloth like that, or I don't know a pen or anything to do with like uh, the folk um, folk art in Poland in Krakow region. So um, so I would kind of call it Cipelia. And this is really nice that we have that little touch here because uh, it's kind of like batik in Indonesia. Um, so yeah, really nice decor. Yeah, so it's on the table here. Okay. Yeah, and the lady has an apron with it on as well. Yes, very nice, very nice. It gives a little bit additional touch of like. Uh, a, a beautiful patterns, you know, of uh, traditional folk art of decorating. So. Okay, guys, I'm going on round well, three, four. Hello, hello. Uh, <laughs> number well, six more. We got uh, six more. Yeah. Fall off. Six more. Six more, right there. <laughs> I just said to the lady that we could just sit here and eat more and more and more. <laughs> yeah, we got six, one I think of every every flavor. Yeah. So we're gonna have one each? Up, 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 up. Sure, yeah. That was a good idea. Yeah. Because then you see what they are as well. Yeah, you see what they are. And this is sour cream, something. It's a bit different, but it's a creamy, creamy thing. Yeah. I call it more um, 
Whipped butter. Say whipped butter. Whipped butter. Oh, yeah. It's, 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 it's more like a butter. But it is actually very creamy. Yeah. So I'm having this one is again. Oh gosh. Like the mushroom one. Now I've got the sauerkraut one. Oh, sauerkraut is really good. Sauerkraut. Okay. I actually saw sauerkraut. So this is imported. Yeah. Oh no, sauerkraut wild imported mushroom. Uh, I saw sauerkraut here um, in one shop as well. I got really excited about this. But I'm just like saying that my favorite uh, pierogi was uh, wild blueberry pierogi with sour cream sugar. Uh, amazing. Try to find that. Okay, guys. We are finished. It's gone. It's gone. Where's it all gone? Where's it all gone? It's here. <laughs> all gone. Yeah, we had. 18 altogether. Well, not each. Nine each, I guess. Plus the other three or four that we had. Yeah, yeah. So we've had like a dozen each. Very uh, good. Very good tasty. I can confirm that it's totally like in Poland. Uh, plus like a little bit of Indonesian taste as well. So it, it feels like the culture is transferred between. It's a nice balance. Not too much spices. Um, I would say like maybe I would Tr like to try with sambal so maybe when you're here like ask for sambal because we forgot to ask it's, it's a nice uh, spicy little bit of uh, taste of indonesia so uh, definitely very worth to come here so if you're from poland or if you're from somewhere else but you like um polish food uh, i recommend yes i also recommend it it's very good very good we were saying maybe they could make some sweet ones but you know sometimes they do they say so Maybe there's some mango ones coming. Yeah. Or I suggested that you, they can get um, strawberries from Budukul and just uh, get a strawberry um, and type of uh, a pierogi, which is my favorite thing. Cool, guys. Well, that's pretty much it. Uh, we're just going to let that go down a little bit, finish off our teas, uh, try not to fall asleep because I'm starting to fall asleep a little bit. Yeah, me too. I haven't had my coffee today. I'm off the coffee. so. <laughs> I feel it from you. Also a lot of pierogi. <laughs> so yeah, okay, we're just gonna chill for a little bit. Been talking to the nice lady here. Um, but yeah, and then probably head off. So yeah, I'll catch you in a bit. Anything? Bye! Goodbye from Poland. So that was pierogi pierogi. Um, we were gonna go just straight home, but actually we thought we we're in Sanur. Why don't we actually see Sanur, the beach? So we're gonna head down. To the beach. The navigator is on it again. The navigator. Hey, navigator. The navigator. Yes, navigator has arrived, and basically we need to check where to go. So stay with. Okay. Wish me luck.